Hello, Carrie. How are you today? Really good. Excited for the first session? I sure am. All right, so for our first exercise now, we're all warmed up. We're going to be doing a lunge. So we're going to get you into a staggered stance this way so that my back is not arched. Nice neutral spine, neutral neck, chin a little bit tucked. And then from here, I'm just going to simply drop this back knee straight to the floor and push this knee a little bit over top of my foot, squeezing my quad and my glute to come back up. Really, I shouldn't have much pressure on this foot, just mainly to help with balance. While I'm doing this, I'm driving my big toe into the floor. Also, as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my knee straight over my foot. I'm not letting my knee come in or go out. Okay. Just straight over. And also another thing to keep in mind, it is okay if you go a little too narrow and keep that tip torso, as long as you keep that alignment with your torso and your shin bone. And I'll get you to do a couple reps for me just so we know the technique. Stance looks good whenever you're ready. Just drop that back knee down to the floor. I'm just gonna turn your heel up just a little bit right there. Tuck the chin just a little bit. Not so much, just a little less. There you go. There you go. And remember to drive that big toe into the floor. Job keeping your knee over the top of your foot. All right, I think we're ready to move some weight. Are you comfortable with 10 pounds? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. And whenever you feel ready, we're gonna aim for 10 reps. Okay. Right there. Okay. A little shaky. Nice straight back. Remember to push that big toe into the floor. Remember to pull in that draw in, pull that belly button to your spine. Remember to breathe. And last two. Very good form. And done. All right, and you can put the weights down. So with the lunge, this we're really targeting that front quad muscle here that helps with the knee extension. And also with a, a little bit of hamstring and glute helping you there. So with uh, lunges, it'll help strengthen your squat, help uh, your bottom position and get out of the squat. And it'll also help you with daily activities such as walking upstairs. Okay. So typically, if you wanna do anything by yourself, with this, we'll, we'll shoot for anywhere from six to 12 reps, which is in, in our hypertrophy range, technically, with CSA. So with that, you can do up to five or six times a week for split days. So different body part, different okay. body regions, or you can do entire body workouts. And you're looking at about a 70%, 70 to 85% load for intensity, and then your rest times are typically about anywhere from 60 seconds up to 120 seconds. Okay. Do you have any questions? Um, when I start shaking, is that because I'm not driving my toe into the floor con consistently? Um, it could be Or is it just noise. mainly fatigue? It can be a little bit of fatigue, especially if, you, if you're new to training and haven't used the muscles a lot. Okay. It can be a little bit of so fatigue. So stability but. should grow with more repetition and yes precisely 